Hi everyone, Alex from BIM is here and BIM Pulse is back and of course I'm talking about these videos because the pulse of the BIM project itself was always strong and stable as ever. And in fact, only last Thursday we had two major announcements. One about the release of the Fierce Fermion 6.0 version of BIM, BIM blockchain, which is the hard fork version. And during the hard fork, which will occur about June 13th, we will enable on BIM the ability to run smart contracts using BIM virtual machine that we have integrated into the protocol. And of course, it's a big deal and opens a lot of new interesting possibilities for creating DeFi applications on BIM. And we will talk more about that. And also we have announced our plans to move our governance from BIM Foundation to the DAO structure. And there were a lot of questions from the community about this process and all the diagrams, allocations that we published, and I will explain what we meant uh, in this announcement, and I will discuss in depth what our plans are for BMAX, the DAO, and the entire ecosystem. So let's get started. So let's get started with the BIM 6.0, which as I mentioned is a hard fork version, which means that all of you need to download the new binaries from a website and upgrade before the hard fork date, which is approximately on June 13th at the height of 1,280,000. And as I said, one of the major features of this 6.0 release is the integration of BIM Virtual Machine, which allows to create DeFi applications that run on top of BIM and makes BIM not only the best-in-class confidential cryptocurrency, but also confidential application platform for decentralized financial applications. And in future videos, we will show and talk about uh, all of these features in depth, but it's a very important step for us because uh, right now, in addition to the transactions that you make, confidential transactions, you will also be able to trade your assets confidentially. And we're talking about a possibility to create vast variety of applications, including stable coins and AMM pools and lending platforms. And all of that, of course, will be integrated beautifully into our wallet using our decentralized application store built into the wallet. Since BIM is a confidential blockchain, you obviously always need access to the secret keys. So integration into the wallet provides clear set of APIs for application developers to access these keys and signatures whenever needed. And we'll also talk in the future more about how this process of creating application works. Basically, we have both the contracts part and also the UI part, which is integrated into the wallet, created using simple building blocks. Um, we will do tutorials and update documentation during the next couple of weeks so that anyone who wants to create an application on Beam will be able to do so. At this moment, our smart contracts are written in C++ and then compiled into WebAssembly, which is the language that BIM Virtual Machine understands. But in the future, you will also be able to create smart contracts in Rust or Go or any other language that can be compiled into WebAssembly, and we will support this as well. The UI part for the decentralized applications in BIM is just basic HTML, JavaScript, just very similar to a standard web application running inside the wallet, a web wallet, a desktop wallet, or a mobile wallet, obviously and it can be created and modified very easily using application shaders, which is kind of the helper objects that allow you to create transactions, complicated transactions that require a lot of signatures much more easier and thus making the development of applications much simpler than just doing everything by hand. But as I mentioned, more of that in the future videos. The second part of the announcement talked about the migration from BIM Foundation as the key governing body of BIM to BIMX DAO. And I would like to explain exactly what it means and also explain all of the materials that we have published in the announcement about how the BIMX tokens, which are the governance tokens for this DAO, will be allocated, how they can be used, what their meaning is, because there were a lot of questions from the article and various different interpretations of what we meant by these allocations. So I would like to try and clarify the situation so that we're on the same page about our goals and 
uh, our ideas as we move forward. So BMAX DAO is, as it sounds, the decentralized autonomous organization, which will in time slowly and gradually replace BIM Foundation as the key governing body for the entire BIM protocol. We're not talking just about DeFi applications. As I mentioned, anyone can create DeFi applications on BIM. We're talking about governance of the entire vertical from the protocol level up to the DeFi applications. And this means that within a year or so, BIM Foundation will gradually move all of their responsibility for strategic and uh, other decisions related to the entire BIM protocol to DAO. Of course, it will not happen overnight. We will build it slowly and we will try to maintain the stability of the protocol you know, the best way we can, but eventually we do want to have more decentralized control over the protocol and all the applications that are governed by the same DAO, and I will explain about that in a minute. So, as was published in the announcement, we have raised $2 million for the creation of BMAX DAO and some of the applications that will constitute the ecosystem around the DAO. And we have allocated the BMAX tokens using the following diagram that we have published. So let's dive a little bit deeper and understand what each segment means and how these funds will be used and how you can gain access uh, to BeamX and what you can do with BeamX in general. So first of all, BeamX is a governance token for the BeamX DAO. And initially there will be 100 million tokens issued by the contract. These tokens can only be control controlled through the contract. So no one has direct control over either emission or burning of these tokens. And of course, this contract is completely transparent the code is open and you can easily verify that this is indeed the code that manages these tokens. So first of all, there is an allocation for investors of 20% and it's divided into two rounds. The first round was closed now of 2 million, as we mentioned. The second round will probably be done through the DAO and will bring more funds in the future with much higher valuation when the DAO is operational and we have the first applications and hopefully some traction. But this entire slice is going to direct investors who bring some funds into BMAX DAO and get their share of BMAX tokens in return. The second part I would like to talk about is the development fund, probably one of the most misunderstood slices in that pie. The development fund does not go to the developers or the team that is building this DAO. It goes to the ecosystem developers that will cooperate with the DAO in creating more applications and improvements for this DAO. So the DAO decides how to distribute these funds and who is going to develop which applications or which improvements for the DAO. So this part of the pie is locked until the decision to release some part of these BMAX tokens to the developer that was chosen for a specific task is actually accepted by the DAO during the voting process. And we will talk about how that works in a minute. The third part is the ecosystem partners. The ecosystem partners are organizations that help BMAX DAO uh, gain traction, marketing, etc., and part of these will be distributed by the foundation and part of these funds will probably be distributed directly by the DAO going forward. The other part, which is liquidity providers, this is the part for the community and everyone who participates in providing liquidity for the DAO or governance of the DAO will be incentivized using these tokens. And these tokens will allow you to contribute back by participating in the voting process that I will describe in a minute and governing the DAO. So all these 36% are going to be distributed over four years to the community to kind of create incentive for participating in DAO governance and also, of course, interest in gaining those tokens and potentially they might have price in the future. So these are the key allocations that we have in this pie. Uh, and it's important to understand that all of these allocations are completely transparent, in, not in terms of who receives what, but the exact 
uh, allocations will be seen and can be absolutely clearly managed by the DAO. And of course, uh, most of these funds are distributed in a transparent way. So there are no like secret allocations whatsoever. Uh, outside, of course, of the investor where you see the allocation in total, but you don't see exactly how it is distributed. So how does, is it going to work in practice? What is the roadmap and what will happen after the fork enables the smart contracts on Beam? So the first contract we're going to launch shortly after the hard fork is the BeamX DAO core. It's going to be the core contract that will emit the 100 million BeamX assets. And once we do that, we will start upgrading it gradually to add more and more features. The first feature we're going to add is the BeamX staking program, where you will be able to lock your Beam and get BeamX in return. And of course, at the end of the staking period, you will get all of your Beam back and also keep the BeamX. This will be done to gain attention and also interest and educate people about BMAX and also distribute some of the tokens to the community so they can participate in the voting process, which will be released right after. The staking will be biased to time instead of amount, which means that the longer you stake your BEAM coins, the more BMAX tokens you will receive compared to someone who stakes for a shorter period with the same amount of BEAM. So we do not really want to you know, bring some major whale to get all the BMX tokens. We're trying to create a formula that will distribute as much of the allocated BMX tokens to as many people as possible. And this period will be over once we have a real application that requires liquidity running in BMX, within BMX DAO. What does it really mean to run within BMX DAO? So any application that is running on BIM can potentially be included in the BIMX DAO. It's kind of this plug and play solution for applications. So of course, the application needs to Im implement specific APIs so that can be possible. However, the DAO decides whether the application, any application is accepted under the DAO or not. So why would anyone want their application to run within the DAO? Simple because the application will gain the user base of the DAO and the liquidity within the DAO and in return bring benefits to the DAO members. So this application automatically is also governed by the DAO once it's included and added to the DAO. And in time, we expect more and more applications to be attached to the DAO in this way and create vast and rich ecosystem that will increase the stability and the profitability of the DAO in general overall. So how does the voting work? Once we implement and launch the DAO core contract, we will add the voting module, which will allow the members of the DAO to vote using their BMX tokens. The exact details of the voting process and how you can lock BMX for voting will be published later, closer to the release date of the voting module. But right now I can tell you that there are going to be voting periods and you will need to stake your voting tokens before the beginning of the period. And you will need to vote for all of the proposals within the period, whether they are periodic proposals, which we vote on every period, or special proposals, which were raised by the community members using a forum that we will create for that purpose. Of course, they will be discussed and then kind of published as a vote. And all of the votes will be counted at the end of the voting period, according to the voting power, which is the amount of BMX stake each voter has contributed. And currently we are operating under the assumption of one BMX equals one vote. And then we decide whether the proposal is passed or not. And if the proposal is passed, BIM Foundation will be implementing this proposal on behalf of the DAO at first, and you know, in the future, the DAO will take control directly. Once the voting is there, we will start adding applications to the DAO. And of course, this depends not just on Beam, but also on the ecosystem to pick up the development of these applications. We as Beam, of course, will help and provide guidance, tutorials, courses, whatever is required, and also application templates if necessary. And once these applications are running, they can be connected to the DAO, and then they become part of the DAO ecosystem. 
So in short, over the next year or so, we're going to gradually build BeamX DAO to be the key governing body for Beam and also for most or best applications running on the platform. Assuming, of course, this is mutually beneficial for both the application creators and the DAO. And we're going to invest a lot of effort into making this governance process uh, as effective as possible because we believe in Beam and the future of Beam and we want this decentralized control, but we want it to work as you know the best for the best of you know everyone involved from the developers, the community, and of course the future users of Beam who are just considering doing that. And in the next videos, we're going to talk more about the details of the upgrade, how the smart contracts work. We will talk about decentralized bridges architecture that we'll be deploying to move assets from other chains to Beam and vice versa. And in the meantime, please ask me questions directly or through our community channel if something is not clear. Thank you very much and have a great day.